don't trust everyone. I think that's very simple and affirmative. When you go to the market, don't go everywhere, don't trust everyone. The market, don't go everywhere, don't trust everyone. When you go to the market, don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. In fact, if it becomes clear enough, I will sit down. I don't have to finish what I came to say because making a point for a preacher is more important than finishing the notes you wrote. When you go to the markets, don't go everywhere and don't trust who? Everyone. There is a Bible verse I want us to read at the beginning and I will read it at the end. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10 verse. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Then be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. May God bless his word. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. May God bless his word. For the last time, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. May God bless his word. When you go to the market, don't go everywhere. And don't trust everyone. It is not a restricted place. Many things happen in the market. So when you go to the market, don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. A market has buyers. A market has sellers. A market has idlers. A market has government officials and all kinds of people when you go to the market don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone a market has open places it has hidden places where they sell changa and other illegal things when you go to the market don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone a market has legal activities and a market has also illegal activities. In any market, you will find there are people doing legitimate business, but there are people who are also doing illegitimate business. When you go to the market, what is the message? Don't go and don't trust everyone. You can be robbed at a marketplace by pickpocketers or even violent robbers. When you go to a market, don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. We can also preach the gospel at the market. Many times we go to markets, we put up a platform like this one and we sing and preach. You hear of us Adventists talking about Christ in the marketplace. You hear us talking about be the salmon. You hear us talking about today afternoon we will have impact. I'm giving an example. All these are attempts to reach people with the gospel at the marketplace. When you go to the market, you can preach the gospel. But when you go to the market, don't go everywhere. Don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. Now listen, brothers and sisters, when you are online in the internet, you are at a marketplace. When you are online in the internet, you are at a marketplace. When you are online in the internet, you are at a marketplace. When anytime you log in online, you are at a marketplace. 
And the message today is simple. When you go to the market, don't, don't go everywhere and don't and don't trust everyone. The internet is a place you can preach the gospel by sharing and forwarding the right stuff. Yeah, the internet. You can share the gospel and you can forward the right stuff. Not that silly message of 20 churches are burning in India and 20 churches in Russia. Grow up. There are no churches burning in India. 20 churches are burned. They have been burning every year for the last 10 years. Because it's just one forward, they know church people will forward it without thinking. God's people have been told, I am sending you like sheep among wolves. Do you know somebody makes money when you forward that message? Every time you forward a message, there's somebody who is growing rich. So they send you a sensational message and they know you. They know your excitement will not let you rest. You will forward it. One shilling goes to the pocket. 4,000 of you share it. 4,000 shilling goes to somebody's pocket. Somebody grows rich, you look stupid at the end of the day. Because next year, the same message will be online again. 20 churches are burning. Let us pray for India. Then the newcomers online will share it again. That's why Jesus said, I am sending you like sheep. Among what? Wolves. And Jesus said, use your head. Are we together? You see, Tifanye Kazi. Are we together? To me, I find a Kazi. <laughs> so when you go to the market, don't go. There are people who are not responding now. When you go to the market, don't go. And don't trust the internet. When you are online, there are legal activities because it's a market. Are you aware of that? There are legal and illegal activities on the internet. So don't just log in and trust everything. When you are, go to the market, don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. When you are online, be careful about which sites you log into. Which site? Which website are you logging into? We have sites that can damage you for life. There are websites and they are free. You can log in. We have sites that recruit you to fight the SDA church. There are sites that they will recruit you and tell you, listen, we have the three angels message. Then they start telling you, oh, the SDA church is Babylon. The SDA church is not good. They start sending you strange prophetic messages. You start speaking strange things in the church. You look around the church, you think everyone is evil except you and a few friends who are following those teachings. And can I tell you something? You may soon find yourself in Shakaon. <laughs> because the moment you start thinking that way, you may find yourself very soon in Shakaola, where you are now just living a very strange life. Ukuli chumbi, ukuli sukari, ukuli mafuta, ukuli maziwa, umekonda, umeparara. What is the difference between that and Shakaola? Is that the will of God for us? Going around dressed strangely, eating strangely, all of it that we are doing health reform. When you, the health reform required for you, ni kukuna unone, umekonda umekua muembamba, you need help. Your health reform ni kukuna. Are we together, friends? So there are websites you may go into and find yourself, you are now angry against the church. Even when you are seated in the church, you are feeling everyone is wrong. You look around, everyone is making a mistake. But the people guiding you online have not told you who is right. And so you find yourself, you are very comfortable to pray, but not to the rest of us, because you feel we are like sinners. Once you start developing, you are going to the market and the wrong side of the market. When you go to the market, ladies and gentlemen, don't go. I can't tell you, don't go. Sites that can recruit you to join terrorists. Do you know that people join terrorism just by being guided online? 
They are guided online until eventually they pack their bag and march to Somalia or march to Afghanistan or march to Syria to go and fight a war and they are being guided online. And most likely the one guiding you is not at the war zone, it's probably your neighbor, but you don't know them. Because online people use strange names. I can use a very strange name online and you engage with me and you believe you are engaging with someone in America. Everyone, because even some of you here, your names online are not your real names. If I, was, I decide to search you online, you will have to tell me the name you are using. Because the standard name you have is not what you are using. Already a degree of conmanship. <laughs> now to me, a Gina Kuba, a CEO, professor, what have you, just some ordinary character struggling with chemistry. Are we together? When you go to the market, don't go. I can't tell you. When you go to the market, don't go. And don't trust. Do you know we have sites that encourage you to commit suicide? You remember, children in Europe and America, several children committed suicide only for the police to follow up and discover they had logged into websites where they tell you how life is bad, life is not good, everyone hates you and what have you, and they encourage you and they tell you tomorrow all of us who are in this community will kill ourselves tomorrow at 10 and then you die by yourself, then they log in again to kill other people. Listen friends, don't log in online and believe everything. Unatimama saa leso na kusema juzi nilikuwa nasoma kwa internet nyamaza kaa chini ukikuwa na kitu ya maana ongea na sisi juzi ulisoma kwa internet ni kama kusema juzi nilienda sokoni nikasikia watu wakiongea wewe uko na point gani wewe hauna point are we together friends do you get what i'm talking about when you go to the market don't go and don't trust don't trust everyone when you go to the market that's very very important. We have sites that encourage you to kill your family or drop out of school. You heard of these characters, they were coming from Mumias or Kakamega who went to Pastor Mackenzie's church. Siblings, four siblings. And they were following up online what they were seeing. And they went, luckily they didn't die. Because at that time he had not started swallowing the people. But again online and people pack and even ask for money to travel to see a stranger. Recently in central Kenya, there is somebody who was arraigned in court because he lures people on Facebook and then when you get there, kills you. Lures you on Facebook, I love you, I, I really love you. In fact, and then you think you are dating somebody who is, who is nice, the person is a psychopath. You travel, meet the person you are killed. When you go to the market, Ladies and gentlemen, the times have changed. Our mobile phones, our laptops can connect us to a market that is dangerous. The message is, when you go to the market, don't go. Everywhere. And don't trust. Everywhere. Don't trust everyone. You find somebody telling you, hello, or you got my message by accident, but let's chat anyway. Or you got this email, I am a very rich woman in Saudi Arabia. I am dying, and I have one million US dollars, and I have no family members. They were all killed in a bomb blast. I think I should leave the money for you. And then you are there saying, I'm in your own career. <laughs> <laughs> Kumbe, uh, this is your final exam, your Ujinga. Karibu, the world is about to show you that you don't know anything. And then you start calling, oh, I'm really sorry for your sickness. Yeah, the doctors have told me I will only live for one week, and they told me four days ago, so I have three days. Yes. Uh, so I want to leave my money for you. Which account can I transfer to? Wait, let me go and open an account. Open an account. You are, you are so happy walking into a bank. Can I open an account? <laughs> can I open an account? I'm not thinking I'm professor free. And there are 50 free cars in Japan. Click here. Do you know the Japanese don't have enough cars themselves for them to send 50 cars to Africa? Kimile ujinga inakuanga Kenya ni kubwa sana. 
and then you are busy there connecting, and then eventually the catch comes. They say, we cannot send money to that account because that account doesn't have any money. Can you send me 10,000 shillings so that I open the account this side so that I send you? You go for me, 1,000, send you 1,000. Ukisha tumba hiyo 10,000. Anakufa. Anakufa. When you go to the market, when you go to the market and don't trust everyone, that is a very important rule. When you go to the market, don't go everywhere and don't trust everyone. Don't trust any website. Don't trust any email. Don't trust any phone call. Don't trust any text message. Hata kama ujai pendwa mwaka mzima, all of a sudden mtu anakuambia, my name is Sean Michael, can we be friends? Kama wenye wanakujua waja kupenda, hey. <laughs> imagine watu wanakujua. Alafu wewe unafikiria kini